The news of the world phone hacking scandal has divided attacks across the country. Journalists' ethics were suddenly being questioned. How far will they go to get a story? Is it acceptable ethically to intercept a person's voicemail in the name of a headline? Tony Harkup writes in The Ethical Journalist, Far from being a luxury, ethics are integral to being a good journalist. An ethical journalist is one who cares, cares about accuracy, cares about people, cares about journalism, cares enough to speak out and cares enough to challenge preconceptions. In 2007, the News of the World published a series of stories on the royal family. The information was gained through illegal access to phone messages of the royals. Information as trivial as Prince William injuring his knee was sought through phone hacking by the paper. This type of reporting demonstrates limited integrity and moral standing. Obviously, there are ethical issues to be considered by journalists involved in phone hacking. We identified three main areas, privacy, the public interest and consideration of the consequences of these actions. In terms of privacy, journalists should know the rules. Section 3 of the PCC Code outlines these. According to the Code, each individual is entitled to respect for his or her private and family life, home, health and correspondence, including digital communications. This is backed up in law through the Human Rights Act. In 2007, the paper's royal editor Clive Goodman and private investigator Glenn Mulcair were jailed for intercepting the telephone network of the Prince of Wales's household. Speaking about the nature of the privacy issue, Judge Mr Justice Gross said, This case is not about press freedom. It is about grave, inexcusable and illegal invasion of privacy. The targets were members of the royal family. They hold a unique position in the life of this country. A line must be drawn between the concepts of needing to know and wanting to know. This brings us to the public interest debate. The loophole for invading a person's privacy is the information which presents itself as being of interest to the public, whether private or not, can be fairly procured for publication. This condition is why many invasions of privacy lawsuits do not prevail in court. Through resorting to phone hacking for material that cannot be deemed as remotely newsworthy or in the category of public interest, the boundaries are blatantly disregarded. Piers Morgan, ex-editor of the News of the World, said of his time in charge there, Most of the time, the public interest defence was trumped up nonsense. The reason we were doing it was to sell papers and to amuse and titillate people. With the news of the world's spate of phone hacking cases, the ethics seem to go right out the window and this type of journalism can't be described as good. Did the news of the world reporters consider the consequences of their actions? Many reporters argue that the pressures of the industry mean that headlines are more important than people's feelings. According to STB local editor Ian Hepburn, an award-winning Scottish journalist, this is a cutthroat business. You have to do all you can to get ahead. Does this mean that reporters have to disregard what their actions could mean? Ian said, I've broken traffic laws to get to a story first. I've sent rivals in the wrong direction when our paths cross to make sure I get a story first. There's been times I've been in court and someone I know comes up before the sheriff and I've run the story. There are also the consequences for the journalist to consider. Reputation, integrity, even their job, he or she has the potential to lose it all. Tanya Thompson from The Scotsman has worked with ex-journalists of the News of the World and people from other tabloid papers. I trusted some and not others. Some tended to stretch the truth a bit on stories, but it was made clear to them this would not be tolerated on a broadsheet. Others had high ethical standards. I'm always perplexed that the public trusts a journalist who rings them up and says they are from the News of the World. Breaking the law, invading a person's privacy, bending the meaning of public interest, disregarding the consequences, what happened to honest journalism? The News of the World phone hacking scandal says a lot about the industry today, and it's not good.